I like this heat gun, though it's attracted a lot of negative comments. Some electrical basics before I give you my positive views on the DeWalt 18 volt heat gun and you can apply these electrical basics to all battery operated heat guns. Watts are the unit of electrical power. One watt equals one volt times one amp. A 2000 watt heat gun running off the mains in most European countries where 220 to 240 volts is the norm will draw around 8 amps. The amount of heat or perhaps more pertinently the speed at which that heat is delivered from an 18 volt device isn't going to be scorching. Some forums suggest that 18 volt battery operated drills can draw as much as 30 amps at peak power. I'm a big fan of battery operated drills. They are portable. I took one of these apart, an old one, and they have some impressive gearing to facilitate their drill speeds and torque. Anyway, being very generous, perhaps 500 watts, more realistically less than 300 from an 18 volt battery operated heat gun. I couldn't find any reference to the actual wattage either on the box or in any of the literature. With a 5 milliamp hour battery it weighs 1.2 kilos, 1200 grams. Nicely balanced. The reason you're going to be using a battery operated heat gun? Convenience, portability. If you follow my channel, then you'll know I grow trees, eucalyptus trees mainly, of which there are 750 different varieties. About a hundred or so grow here in Ireland. It's very important for me to label the plug and seed trays to ensure that what I'm saying I'm selling is actually what I'm selling. I reuse the plug and seed trays and in order to prevent any confusion I need to remove the previous labels which is more easily achieved if the glue that sticks the labels on is softened using heat, not too much heat. I don't want to melt the plastic. This old hairdryer, which I actually bought to remove the decals on a van that I used to have when I ran a handyman business, actually does a really good job of taking the labels off, though it's not portable and recently it's developed an intermittent fault. Typically it's working today. The 2000 watt heat gun is likewise not portable and has also developed a fault so now I only get the number one setting heat. Even if I put it on the high heat I only get the low heat. Hence I decided to give the battery operated DeWalt heat gun a try. I like to reuse, recycle as much as possible and I reuse any cardboard boxes that I receive in order to reuse them to ship my plants. New cardboard boxes can be as much as two euros each depending on the quantity you buy. Anyways it's nice to be able to remove all the old shipping and other labels from the boxes.
I do a reasonable amount of my own woodworking and joinery. During the winter, glues can become quite viscous and won't flow easily. And that's especially true of resin glues, which are quite viscous to start with. A warming them helps. Hot melt glue guns are handy and give a surprisingly strong, tough bond. As you can see, if you want to break the bond and remove the glue, then heating it up is a good idea. For an electrician, this DeWalt heat gun would be very handy. As you can see, it does a very good job of shrink wrapping in a very reasonable period of time. It does take a short while to get up to temperature from cold. It has a safety latch to prevent accidental operation. You push the latch up and pull the trigger and it also has a button to lock it into the on position. You could use it to bend and weld plastic pipe, though I watched a couple of YouTube videos and it looked to be time consuming and I'm not sure I would trust joining welding plastic pipe with a heat gun. I've done a reasonable amount of plumbing drainage and I've always used a solvent based joining cement and I've never had any issues with leaking and likewise there are plenty of fittings available 45s, 90 degrees and swept bends so and it's fast and it's easy and it's reliable so I'm not sure why you would want to bend and weld plastic pipe but whatever floats your boat I don't have any of these low temperature soldering joints to show you for copper pipe I'm not actually sure this would be powerful enough to activate the solder to melt it I've never had much luck success in fact had a few bad experiences with soldering joints and now I just use compression ones which are reusable if you buy new olives don't expect to be able to strip paint don't expect to lay roofing felt or flashing these are holiday homes for South Africans don't expect it to fire up the stove. It's not going to set wood alight. Certainly not easily. Use a small blowtorch for that. Link in the description. This was an expensive piece of kit. 110 euros for a bare unit. It is portable. I do like it. I will use it. Thanks Emil for watching. Good luck.